Shadow Black Psychedelic Funk and our guest line is open on the audio side and the live stream video side. As you all know, we are on Twitch TV. We are also on Mixcloud at Rhythm and Soul Radio and we have Marcus Machado here in the virtual studio with us. What's happening, man? What's up, man? How you doing, man? Can't complain. Thanks yeah. for having me, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Good, good, to, good to talk to you and kind of see you. you yeah, know? Kinda, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been able to do this for a minute, and uh, I'm glad we're, we're able to do this and talk about the full length album Aquarius Purple. Man, it's, yeah. it's, it's taking a minute to get here. You've yeah. been working on so many different projects, even through the pandemic. Yeah. And now you finally have your full length that you're able to release. Uh, talk about this, this journey of finally getting to this point where you're able to oh, finally man. release this album. Oh man, I mean it's been uh, it's been quite a journey, but I can't complain. I mean everything is uh, with steps, and um, you know this project. You know I've been telling a lot of people I've started. You know Aquarius Purple like nine years ago. You know when I was mm. in Amsterdam, and um, it kind of just took a life of its own because it started in Amsterdam, and then when I came back home to New York after the Rolling Stone stuff. Um, yeah, I was kind of like working on it. And then I got busy with, you know, touring and working on several projects. And at the same time, it just started building up. So it was a thing that I've always wanted to put this project out, but it just, uh, I guess time just said, you know, when the time is right, you know, you'd be able to put it out. And um, yeah, able to fast forward to 2020 during the pandemic, you know, of course, you know, lost, you know, a lot of, lot of friends and, you know, family and stuff. But besides from that, I was able to really focus on finishing up different projects. So I was able to finish Aquarius Purple, was able to finish 13 Project, mm -hmm. and P Rock and the Soul Brothers and all that. So, you know, I really took my time to really, you know, get it the way that I want it. And, you know, I'm just, I'm glad that it's finally out and people can go <laughs> go check it out. You know what I mean? And hear right. it. 
Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And and I know, you know, you stay busy. We we hear we hear the pings that are Yeah, around. I'm trying to keep these lights on, man. Sorry about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. problem. But um, you know, you, you mentioned the 13 project and some of the other things you were working on. Yeah. How how was it trying to was it hard to kind of stay focused mm. on getting Aquarius Purple out um, while you were working on, you know, 13 and doing the, the press for that and, mm-hmm. and doing some of the performances with that and some of the other stuff because you've been producing along the way yeah. for other artists as well. Right, so right, right. is it hard to separate some of that stuff and, and still try to, you know, get yeah. to the point where you can finish Aquarius Purple? Right, right. yeah, because sometimes I, it's like 50-50 because, um, you know, like 13 Project, that's another project that we was working on for like five, six years. And, um, mm. you know, it just, we wanted to create something really unique and, you know, take your time with it. And I feel like, you know, the best albums comes out when you take your time with it. But, um, you know, for me, it was like certain projects would get done and then it says it's coming out and then it's not coming out and it's getting pushed back. So for me, it was like a tug and pull. And at the same time, you know, I'm still recording. So Aquarius mm. Purple, I have so many songs for that project, but then it was kind of like, I just kept recording more stuff. And I was just like, man, I need to really narrow it down and get it to like 12 tracks. But um, I mean, sometimes it is depending on what you're working on, but I always had, you know, this project in my back pocket. And I felt like instead of it being rushed to be hurrying up to like put something out, I was like, you know what, work on it, you know, let it marinate. And then, you know, when the time is right, you know, I'll definitely, you know, come out to the forefront and, you know, put it out. And it worked out perfect because it started with Pete Rock and the Soul Brothers. That project came out in December and 13 came out in January. And then the vinyl exclusive, I dropped the Aquarius Purple. Uh, that was like in the February. So it actually, with all these different projects, it ended up working out fine because each project was like a setup for Aquarius purple. So, you know, I can't complain. It's a lot of work, but, you know, I can't complain. It's, right, it's, right. Positive. it's, positive. Right. it's a lot of work in a pandemic where, where a lot yeah. of people didn't know what they were going to do. Yeah. You, you didn't have that, that, uh, you didn't have that question. You, you knew that there was a lot of work yeah. going on. Yeah. There was a lot of work to be done. And, um, you know, the pandemic, it, it was, you know, it, it's, you know, it's 50 50. Like, you could really be super creative and say, okay, I'm just going to knock out, you know, all these songs and finish up these projects. Or you can be super depressed because, you know, there's no work. There's no, you can't tour, you know, you couldn't really see people. So it was kind of like confined to, like, you know, man, what am I going to do? And um, for me, I just kind of took that initiative to, like, you know what? I was like, let me just lock in and really finish it up because if the pandemic didn't happen, it would have, it would have got done, but then I would have been touring and the album might have got pushed back until next year. So, you know, in, everything kind of worked itself out. So I can't complain. You know? Right, right, right. And, and for those, let me, you know, you, you mentioned uh, the Soul Brothers and, and, and Pete Rock, and that was one project. Yeah. Uh, when we talk about 13, uh, for those that don't know, that is Marcus Machado, Ferris Montz, and Daryl Jones, mm-hmm. who came together to create uh, the super group of 13, yeah. uh, which was released um, towards the end of last year. Yeah, that was January, actually. January, yeah. Yeah. Um, and there was lots of performances with that, with the NPR Tiny Desk at Home and yeah. and all of that going Steve on. Colbert and all that. Steve, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And yeah. then of, and then you was working on stuff um, with your sister, because yeah. your sister's also a producer. Yep, yep. So there was another project there. Yeah. So, so as you're going through all these projects, and some of them, like you said, 13 was a five, six-year journey. Mm-hmm. Aquarius Purple, your project was a was like a nine-year journey yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you did, did did you run into the issue of things just adding on like yeah like you have a certain it number of songs for aquarius purple but then it's like oh this song was the only thing that project but i really yeah. want it now here now you only know? did. Only did. for example like uh black psychedelic funk that was probably um that song for example that was one of the like later songs that, that, that actually finished during the pandemic that was the, like, the track that I started in Europe. And then there was other songs that were like from nine years, nine years ago, you know what I mean? Eight years ago. So a lot of this stuff that you hear, you know, there were some songs finished like, you know, eight years ago and then other songs were finished during the pandemic. But yeah, as this project was progressing, there was more stuff being added, you know what I mean? So yeah, it was a process. It was definitely a process. Yeah. 
right, right, right. Um, you know, as you kind of built it along, you know, every every project or everything is kind of like, I would think as an artist, it's kind of like your, your child, so to speak. Yeah. But this is your first full length. You released an EP yeah. uh, a couple of years back, but this is your mm -hmm. first full length project. So is this like, do you feel like this is like the, the culmination of everything to this point? Is your like real first introduction to, to the world, so to speak, it artistically? Is. It is for sure because um, 29 was just like a collection of all different songs. So then you got like, you know, rock, like a real hard rock song, you got some funk, you know, you got a little bit of jazz, and it was just like a combination of, you know, introduction for me. Praise Purple is more of, you know, my debut album, it showcases all different genres, and also to, you know, paying homage to the greats, like, you know, Prince, Eddie Hayward, Jimmy Hendrix, and, uh, you know, all the influences that, you know, I've been influenced by from D'Angelo, you know, Dr. Sadiq, Sly Stone. So you hear all of that, all those different combinations, but with that album, I wanted to say, man, how can I make an album to where I take all these influences, but also to make it me? So it's not necessarily you're copying somebody or having the same sound. You get inspired, but also to create your own, your own unique sound. So that's what it feels like it is to me. Yeah, so, yeah, I, it feels good to, you know, it took a minute to get to where that I wanted to get this project, but all in all, I feel like this is the right time. And, you know, I can't complain. I'm just blessed to, to finally put this project out and for everybody to go and you know, check it out. And so far, I've been overwhelmed with, you know, all the love and support from the audience. Absolutely. Um, you know, the, the new album is, of course, Purple. It's, it's officially everywhere as of uh, last week. Yeah, last week, last Friday. Last Friday, it dropped out all, all digital platforms. Um, the vinyl, I had a it dropped in like late February, which I had like a limited edition. So those lucky people got purple vinyl and psychedelic vinyls and stuff. But right. also, too, we have black vinyls available now, too, as well. I suggest, you know, if you want to get the album, get the, the vinyl first because it's a totally mm. different experience. And I'm a record guy. I love listening to records. So instead of skipping through tracks, you know, digital is cool. But, you know, yeah. if you really want to listen to it sonically, how the way the whole album sounds, I would definitely suggest go get the vinyl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, now, got to make sure people can, can follow you and all yeah. that. So, so website, social media, give yeah. everybody all the info. Yeah, um, website, you can find me at www.officialmarketsmachado.com. Uh, Instagram, official Marcus Machado. Uh, QSTV, um, follow that. Official QSTV, which is a bi weekly show um, I created with myself and my sister. Uh, basically, showcasing creators and different artists and communities and different spotlights and play. So, we have about a week to show. Actually, that comes on in the next hour at 8 p.m. So, check that out. You can follow us uh, on YouTube, uh, Twitch, and on Facebook. And yeah, just follow me at official market and try to that. Awesome, awesome. And uh, on the website, people can find out how to get the vinyl because exactly, it's, it's all there. Front, front, front page, so you click on it. Buy the okay. album, all that stuff is there. So you can find my uh, not only the, the, the vinyl, the different videos, uh, Instagram, all that stuff is all connected to you. So, yeah. All right, excellent. Because those who want the vinyl, they, they, you, know, you have to search for it these days. Cause yeah, we I know. Record stores as we, as we used know. to. I Shout know. out to Electric Feeders. I just got to visit yeah. them in Minneapolis. Oh, man, uh, yeah. Great so, store, right? Crazy. Oh, Crazy. Lo love, love that store. You know? Yeah, man. Uh, so... So definitely uh, shout out to Electric Feeder. Shout out to all the the, the, the stores selling vinyl uh, still Indeed. music in Atlanta and all Indeed. over. So Indeed. Indeed. You know, and make sure you get that Marcus Machado vinyl, Aquarius Purple, or get the digital or get both. Oh, you get know? both. Yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> also, too, we got some merch coming, too. So definitely stay on uh, social media. You can keep up with me on social media, Instagram, and our website. I got some special Aquarius Purple merch coming. So it's not just t-shirts, it's more than t-shirts. So okay. you want to look after that. Mm -hmm. All right, absolutely. It's Rhythm really and Soul Radio. Marcus Machado has joined us in the virtual studio. We're going to go into more Marcus Machado uh, from the Aquarius Purple debut full-length uh, CD LP, Find My Way, featuring Daryl Jones and uh, Jermaine Holmes. Is right here on Rhythm and Soul Radio.
us ahead and head back. Head back.